YouTube and all who inhabit it, Diamond Lagger here with another review for you. Today, we will be taking a look at Finding Dory, Pixar's newest film. So, if you're like me, you feel like Pixar has been on a bit of shaky ground lately. I mean, with movies that kind of flopped, like Cars 2 and Brave. And yeah, Inside Out was great, but then The Good Dinosaur happened and it was... meh. And now we have Finding Dory, the sequel to the much-beloved Finding Nemo. So, what's the premise? Well, Dory played by Ellen DeGeneres, starts having memories of her parents, and so decides to go on a quest to find them. Along the way, she meets a variety of colorful characters. That's about as much as I can tell you without spoiling anything. So, for the fans who have been waiting ten frickin' years for this movie to come out, is it worth it? Absolutely. Finding Dory is another great film from Pixar. First, the good. There is a lot of it in this movie, I must say. Something that I was honestly surprised that I really liked in this movie was the new characters they introduced. I mean, Dory is the same lovable fish with short-term memory loss that she was from the first movie, but she gets to this aquarium where she's looking for her parents, and it's here where we see the supporting cast of this film. The one that I liked the most was Hank. Hank is an octopus that's missing one of his tentacles, and he was amazing, I gotta say. His character is basically, like, lovable asshole kind of character. You don't usually see that in kids' movies, but with Hank it's done really well. He has to help Dory find her parents, but you see along the way he's getting really frustrated with Dory, and on the one hand you feel bad for Dory because this is happening to her, but at the same time you would probably be acting like Hank right there. There is also a nearsighted whale shark named Destiny, there's a beluga with poor echolocation named Bailey, and the great thing about all these characters is that they all have basically disabilities, but they all help each other to overcome them. That's really beautiful to see. The animation in this movie, top notch. I mean, it's Pixar. What did you expect? Even their bad movies are well animated. But I really feel like the best thing about this movie is its writing and its story. How there are some moments in here where you feel the emotions of the characters and you feel them hard. There is a moment I'm not going to spoil. I will not dare spoil it. Where most of the theater was crying. I was almost crying. You really do feel a lot for these characters in this movie, and because of that, when they are able to overcome the obstacles in their life, because the movie has thoroughly pulled on your heartstrings, you care for them, and you want to see them overcome their disabilities and obstacles in their path. The animation was great, the story was great, the characters were great, it's overall a really great family movie. Now for the bad. Now don't get me wrong, this movie doesn't really have a lot of bad in it, per se, but there are moments where you're like, oh, that's not as good as the original Finding Nemo, and that kind of has to do with the pace. Finding Nemo, I felt, had a lot more slower, quieter moments. Finding Dory, on the other hand, it's more fast-paced and there's more going on at every point in the movie. Depending on your taste, that may be a good thing for you, but for me, I did like Finding Nemo's, at times, slower pace better. I also liked the setting of Finding Nemo a lot more. The setting of Finding Nemo, it's the open ocean, you know, so you have this fear of the unknown and the unexplored seas. In Finding Dory, it's an aquarium, and that doesn't create the same effect. You know, the story is less about these characters having to deal with the environment that they're in, and more about them having to deal with their own personal issues. And while that is well done in this movie, I do like Finding Nemo's setting better. But despite my incredibly nitpicky problems, this movie had an excellent story, had amazing writing, terrific animation as usual from Pixar, and great characters. This is definitely something you don't want to miss. Oh, also, you know how the Pixar movies, they have shorts before them? Yeah, there's one before this movie called Piper. I feel obligated to warn you about this. Your head may explode from how cute it is. It is unbelievably cute, oh my god. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the review. Take care.